So we are now going to look at the purchase order. Sometimes we call it the order not. So in writing, we are going to see its definition. its components who writes it who receives it and then when do we write uh, when do we write it or when is it written? By definition, so a purchase order is a document that is issued by the buyer to the seller requesting him or her to supply different goods or services. So now we are saying that is a document that is prepared and issued by the buyer to the seller instructing the seller to supply goods or services to the buyer. Is it okay? So, when does this one happen? When do we send or write a purchase order? A purchase order is written When a buyer has got a response from the seller, that is to say, when the seller responds to the buyer's inquiry letter. Because we said you inquire first, after inquiring, the seller responds to you because you have not been knowing, after the seller has responded to you, then you, the buyer, you make a decision of whether to buy from him or not after you have been answered all the questions. In other words, all the questions that you raised in the letter of inquiry have been answered. Now it is upon you to buy or not. So after accepting to buy, that's when you will write a letter of inquiry, uh, a letter of uh, sorry, a letter of purchase or purchase order or an order not, instructing the seller who answered your letter of inquiry to supply to you the goods because you have now understood everything. You are free to buy and not to buy. But here we are now showing that you have accepted to buy after having been responded to your uh, questions which were raised 
in the letter of inquiry. Now, who writes? Who writes a letter of inquiry? It is a bad, not a letter of inquiry. I beg your pardon, you know I've been talking about a letter of inquiry so much. I beg your pardon. Who writes a purchase order? It is a buyer who writes a letter, sorry, a purchase order after a seller responding. to his letter of inquiry. His letter of inquiry. So I've understood that he, a buyer writes after understanding. Then another question. Who receives it? Who receives a purchase order? It is now a seller receives a purchase order because he's the one who's selling the goods and is the one who responded to the letter of inquiry through presenting or writing a quotation, the price list, the price current, and any other document that can be used to respond to the letter of inquiry. And after buyer accept uh, understanding, decides to buy. After buyer deciding to buy, sends a document that is ordering the seller to supply different goods or services. Now, we look at the components. We look at the components of uh, purchase order. One of the components, name and address. Of the buyer name and address of the buyer then to name and address of the seller <coughs> then three the document name or the name or the word purchase order. Then we have the order number. Then we have the date. of writing the order not then we have the table showing quantity description and the amount of goods ordered.
then we have the name signature and title of both the buyer and the seller. Then we have the frame, we have the logo, we have the heading, the opening statement. Of course, these are usual because we said on every document they are supposed to be there. And others which I could have not put here, but these are the major components of the purchase order because as you know very well we cannot prepare or design a purchase order when we don't know the component so this is briefly about a purchase order in the next session we're going to look at how we design a purchase order as a document